All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so uh, the first thing I want to I want to show you, I want to talk about just a little bit, is Ephesians chapter two. And let me just read a little bit here for you. Uh, some of you, I hope, are familiar with uh, Ephesians chapter two, and you has. I'm sorry. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by the by nature the children of wrath even as others but god who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins has quickened us together with christ by grace ye are saved and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus all right so I just want to read a little bit of this here and pay a little particular attention to verse 6 and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now it's, it's particularly interesting because we read a parallel in Revelation chapter 20. If uh, any of you remember in verse 4 it reads, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Right? This right here, I don't want to confuse you with too much, but just one step at a time. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Consider this and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now consider this. Just consider this. Just relax. Relax a little bit. Consider this. Revelation 1 and has made us kings Jesus Christ has made us kings right now. Okay? He has made us to sit together in heavenly places. Alright, consider this. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Right now we sit on heavenly thrones. Right now. Consider this. In John chapter 11, Jesus says, Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Judgment has already been given to us that are born of God. Right? Judgment has already been given to us that are born of God. If we are born of God, we shall never die. The judgment has already been handed over to us. We are born of God. Right? So now, we that are born of God, we are now the sons of God. Right now, we are the sons of God. Right now. First John Chapter 3, verse 2, Beloved, 
Now are we the sons of God? Right? Now are we the sons of God? All right, so we sit on heavenly thrones right now. And John here is being shown a vision by an angel, which reflects back to what we read in Revelation 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Revelation 20, and I saw, I, John, saw an angel, things which must shortly come to pass. And what's he see in this vision? He sees thrones, and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them. In this vision he's seen us, those of us that sit on heavenly thrones, those of us that are born of God, right? Uh, those of us that are kings and priests unto God, right? And has made us kings and priests unto God and His Father, right? We sit on heavenly thrones right now, okay? And then, of course, uh, the judgment has already been given to us right he that believes in me though we were dead yet shall he live the judgment has already been given for us that are born of God we have been passed from death to life the judgment has already been given to us. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loves not his brother abides in death. But we that are born of God have been passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life. Right now, has everlasting life. And shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Right now, we that are born of God, the judgment of God has already been given unto us. Right? So when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, those that are not born of God will die the second death. Okay, those of us that are born of God, we will be lifted up. We will be gather together up in the air to meet the Lord in the air we, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord right now we sit on heavenly thrones right now the judgment of God has already been given to us right now and right now those that have died in Christ will be raised up at the last day live not again until after the thousand years all right after the thousand years it's the end of the world that's when we will all be resurrected we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed okay and blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection right because right now those of us that are born of God the second death has no power over us right now we are priests of God and of Christ right now right we are partakers of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ blessed and holy is he that has part in his resurrection 
Who's the first resurrection? Well, Jesus tells us as plain as he can tell us. It doesn't get any more plainer than this. It does not get any more easier to understand than this. When the Lord says, I am the resurrection.